if you don't mind in the back, like if you don't mind shutting that door, somebody please, thank you. This is a, a meeting of the Four Ways and Means Committee. We've got uh, three matters that we need to uh, take care of. Chairman Knight, House Bill 399. All right. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'd like to present uh, for the committee House Bill uh, 399. Actually, it's the committee substitute reading off of LC 343814S. Um, this bill is actually it's simple, but it's not simple. Um, what has happened is um, uh, this bill reinforces that a local government cannot point to an undefined term in the aviation code. Uh, to make a jump to be able to to um, uh, levy uh, a non-taxable interest, and that's what happened. If you'll notice on lines uh, 20 of the bill uh, and 21, you see the term possessory, and that's what it was. That's an undefined term in Georgia code, and what was happening was uh, 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 actually it's two local governments were using this 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 undefined term. To, um, to, to go ahead and, and to asset, uh, assess a non-taxable interest, which is a use of in this case. Um, and, and all this bill does is simply take that undefined term out. Uh, I've tried to look everywhere else to make sure that this, there was no support for this, and I can't. And, and members of this committee, I'll remind you that we're very particular about what we do with our tax legislation. And uh, items that deal with avalorum tax should be under section uh, under 48.5, uh, and and all we're doing is clarifying this, and that is the bill, Mr. Chairman. Representative Martin has a question. Oh, no, it's a scratch. Seeing no further questions, what's the, what's the uh, will of the committee? Move to pass. Move to pass and second. A motion has been made and passed, uh, and seconded, I'm sorry, that uh, House Bill 399 do pass. All in favor of signify saying aye. Aye. Opposed, no. The bill passes. Thank you. Uh, House Bill 211, uh, Chairman Benton. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, House Bill 211, that is, it's a substitute, and it would simply uh, remove excise tax from motor fuel. Uh, that is bought and paid for by school systems for a period of two years from July 13 to uh, June of 15. Questions of the other one? Re Representative Martin, you have a question. I, I'm sorry, I couldn't hear anything that you said. further questions by members of the committee? No more questions. What's the pledge of, of the committee? Do pass as a second. Do pass in a second. All in favor of, of House Bill 211 signify saying aye. 
Uh, opposed, no. The bill passes. Uh, if you all can thank you, Mr. With, Chairman. Hang with me one more minute. We, uh, we've got copies of a, a bill that's en route uh, for Representative Peake. Hopefully, be here very, very shortly. I think all the members have a copy of uh, the substitute to House Bill 272, the LC 34, 3767S. Representative Peake. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Members of the committee, I apologize for uh, throwing this back at you quick, but for the members of the subcommittee, you'll remember that uh, we discussed this. This is the angel investor tax credit, which is basically just extending the, uh, this is HB 272, um, ex extended the uh, tax credit for the angel investor um, program for another two years and lowered the um, maximum credit allowable in those extra two years from $10 million to $5 million per year to make sure we were dealing with budgetary issues. When it got to big committee, uh, we had a substitute for 272, which was the uh, IRC update. Uh, that was what went to Rules Committee. Uh, we did that uh, because of some issues that were going on over in the Senate um, when they were um, dealing and making some changes to the original 266, which was the IRC update. Uh, we believe we're on a path to getting those issues resolved, and so therefore 272, this bill, was sent back to this committee to um, put the original language that was in the original bill, um, and that's what I'm asking you to consider today, especially in the extension of um, the angel investor tax credit for two more years. Any, any questions of members of the committee of the offer of the bill? Seeing none, what's the committee's pleasure? Do pass, is there a second? Do pass and second. All those in favor of the bill say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. Thank you very much. Thank you, members of the committee, for your indulgence. <laughs>